Welcome, marvelous human beings, to another daily challenge of Spelunky! Today's December the 8th, 2013! And man, last daily challenge, that was something else. I ruined it in the end by wanting to be cool, I wanted to get that ball and chain and destroying the lava, but I didn't realize that destroying the ball and chain and the lava requires a deep pit. If it's a shallow pit, yeah, it won't work. It'll just trap you with a, a ball inside of a shallow pit of lava, so you can't pick it back up, so you have to blow it up with very, very small air to work with, and uh, I could have gotten it right, but I did not. And, oh wow, this spider. Uh, there we go. That was uh, challenging and challenging whip right there. Uh, wow, there's lots of gems in this first area. I'm tempted to just leave them and ghost them, but I am very wary of ghosting in the very first level. I don't know, it feels kind of pointless, like you're doing all these... Wow, man, I, I would like to get those things. The question is... I would need a... I would need bomb and a rope. I'm going to do it. I should pick that up and, and put it back down. Oh well. Oh well. We're going to get to that delicious crate and a whole bunch of money. 12 bombs! Sweet! So glad I took that risk. So glad I took that risk. wonder how many people out there took that risk as opposed to just saying, oh whatever man, it's just a crate. Well, got a bomb box out of it. You never know. You never know what might be great, what might... Whoop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Major Stupid. Oh, I'm so sorry for for uh, using your core, your still living living body to trigger those two arrow traps. I did not mean to trigger the second one, obviously. He just happened to be pushed into it, and holy crap! A first a one dash one with thirty four thousand. If I had actually bothered to ghost all this stuff, I could probably have come out of here. Wow, wow, a vault. It's awesome. Could probably come out of that level with uh, like a hundred thousand if I actually had bothered to ghost all that stuff. And we have a enormous spider here. Um, I don't think I can get back with uh, with Ugh, there. I cannot get back with just jumping, so we're going to blow up that spider. Woo! That would have been full damage. Uh, I'll pick it up. Screw it. Screw it. Man, uh, I'm going to say anything about I wish there was ropes. I wish there were ropes. Uh, almost walk into that spider. It's a narrow trap I don't want to mess with. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I will need yet another rope to get back up. This is bad. Ah, uh, we do have the paste now, but this guy in the vault is in an awful spot. Yeah, I'm gonna have to grab that ruby, oh well. This guy in the vault is in an awful spot. If I don't get the double bombing right, he will come to destroy my mug. So what we're going to do is kill this dude, steal his shotgun, and hopefully uh, get that vault ready that way. We still need... Ooh. I want to deal with the rest of the level before... I should just not pick those up, that was kind of silly of me. I'm wasting money opportunities here, there's just an idol there, I have not seen key nor chest. And luckily, I didn't even look that I, whether I could or not, but luckily we can get back here just with jumping. So yeah, okay, we're going to deal with that vault now, get it ghosted quickly and get out of here. Hopefully I can dodge the ghost easily. This is going to be a challenge to get this one right. At least uh, we have quite a lot of room to... Wow, that was awful. That is terrible. Oh, we do have the pitcher's mitt. So luckily that saved my ass right there. Because it would have been such a huge pain in the ass to to deal with that shopkeeper without the pictures made and right, right there is the ghost that's going to make our life easier. Should have plenty of time to run back to the rope. 
The problem here is... I might have to actually... You know, what I'm going to do is lure the ghost down. And this way... We should be able to dodge it while the ghost is still down. At least that's the plan. Let's, let's see if it works. Probably the best thing will be to get it trapped back here. Uh, it will be like this way. And then have it like at the bottom left corner. This should work towards giving me just enough time. Let's do this, let's do this! Just need to get all the jumps right. Uh, this might not work, I might have to use another rope. I'm hopeful though. Maybe 2,000? Nice, it worked! Alright, we have dodged the ghost successfully! Now we have to get the hell out of the level. Yeah, this one's tricky. I really could use some navigational utensils to uh, better dodge everything, because that was a, a bit challenging. Sorry, my voice is a little uh, more hoarse than usual. I just got up and I, oh, well, I'm sorry for Matilda here. Oh no, he's actually a dude. I'm sorry for Matildo here. The parents were dead set on the, on the name Matilda, but you know, he came out a boy, so they were like, screw it. Matildo it is. Right, we have the key here, which is always great news. Oh, that was a strange turn of events. We'll be back for the key once I make sure that I there's no big problems in this tier of the level. And then we're going to toss it down. I should make sure that also that the chest is nowhere strange. I do want to get to the, all, the, all that good stuff down there. We do have the bombs to get to it through brute force as opposed to maybe use a rope from the bottom. And I only have one rope, so I might want to do that instead. Ah, filthy corpse! Go away! Okay, what's down there? The chest must be in the bottom rung. Yeah, let's let's use a few bombs to to get to those. Ooh, that was dangerous. Freaking dangerous! Holy crap! <laughs> oh, that was dumb. I think this will make the stairs that I need. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um. This should work. Should work. Yes, Made all the stairs that I wanted. Ah, some more ropes, nice. And some extra bombs to make up for all the ones that I just used. So that's excellent. Well, this is a good spot to look for that chest, but I don't see it. It's not there, so my guess now is right next to the exit. I must hurry because the ghost is coming right away. So I might have to forego grabbing a, a little bit of that money just to get to this dude. We're going to use a trick that I learned just the other day watching Mr. Holy shit, I just... <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't realize something. I didn't realize I didn't have uh, climbing gloves. <laughs> Oops. I was going to do the awesome bomb drop. Let's focus on dodging this ghost. This is going to be tight. This is going to be terrible. That shopkeeper is going to make my life miserable. For the rest of the level, luckily we picked up ropes. Whoa. Let's let's lure the ghost away. I'm trying to get it very very far. Let's use another rope to get it as far as I'm, as I can possibly get this damn ghost, which I guess will be up here. So I have a little bit of time to deal with that damn shopkeeper evil shopkeeper that just wants to defend his goods. Why that one? He just give them to me for free. Oh man, this is such a terrible risk. Alright, he's dead. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's bad. Get another rope. Back to one rope, but I think it's the best choice, really. We're back to learn the ghost away. 
Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, let's make sure that the ghost is not a problem. I'm pretty sure I triggered that, but let's not risk it. I think that arrow right there is what came out of this arrow trap. Ooh. Yeah, earlier I forgot I didn't have the climbing gloves. I wanted to do this amazing bomb trick that I didn't know about, where you sit down a bomb, grab it, and then cling onto the wall, and then you can just drop it. Nice. Well, we're going to leave because the ghost is making me very nervous. But at least we got the Ujadai out there and we did not die. So that's the, the two main goals of this, uh, of that level right there. And they were accomplished. Ooh. You spider. Wanted to bite me. Wanted to hide into my hat. And then come out when I least expected. Uh, is it worth pissing off this spider? It's two gems. Nah, screw it. Screw it. I'm a bigger man. I am after bigger things. Uh, I don't like this arrow trap at all. Here, how about this? Excuse me, Major Stupid the Second. Whoop. That worked. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, that's safe. Major Stupid can go all the way down there. As I explore all this good stuff, there's nothing for me here. Look at all those beautiful gems, but I have no way to, no, no practical way to get to them. I'm not going to start spending bombs for gems just yet. I'll only do that when I actually have a huge surplus. And I have to get Major Stupid out of here. I almost do it without grabbing my shotgun. Whoop! No! Well, I am uh, just destined to murder all my damsels by mistake today, as opposed to my usual. Uh, Intentional murder. That is unfortunate. I didn't mean to trigger that bat. Evils. Bats, I hate you. Ah, this guy, why must he always piss me off? Uh, might be able to ruin his life this way. Mm. <sighs> I really don't trust this guy. I mean, I could risk going down there. There's a pretty good chance I can... Yeah, but he could do that, you know? There's a pretty good chance I could have shot him straight in the face. Wow, those are such bomb waste. Such bomb waste. Ha! Gotcha! A Madhawk! Why, hello there! That is amazing! Problem, of course. Uh, no... No chance to uh, get anywhere... Oh yeah, I do, actually. Uh, I just don't have the ropes to be ghosting this. I have no means of transportation, pretty much. So we're going to get a few gems. Yeah, we're going to leave. We're going to leave. Uh, with the Maddox or the shotgun, I think I'm going to play safe today. I could le uh, leave with the Maddox, get a whole bunch of extra money, but... Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm okay with not getting a ton of money. I would rather just kind of, kind of feel like just getting to the end on this run, and maybe forego a few of the things that I will normally go for. Like I'm not going to escort freaking. Uh, uh, freaking Sandra out of here. Well, it took me that long to come out with that name. That was pretty sad. <laughs> I'm not going to escort Sandra out of that nook. She's going to have to fend for herself. But I just took a, the, one of the silliest damage I've taken, I've taken in a long time. Nah, only one rope is really cramping my style here. Let's see if we can get rid of that piranha. I'll rather do things the safe way as opposed to... As opposed to taking risks now. Oh man, let's go back! Do, 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 do. And shoot him in the face, sweet! Always makes me happy when my enemies get a full blast of pain in their freaking mouth. So the black market is somewhere around here. I don't see it. Let's beep here. More. Oh, I see it. I think is behind that tiki trap. That is fortunate. That is great news. Oh. Oh yeah. Oops. <laughs> okay. Let's go back oh. and blow it up. I shot him, but uh, he's in a pretty tough spot. 
Ah, an emerald. I don't even care for that emerald. <laughs> oh, oh crap! <laughs> I forgot about this. I need to deal with the shopkeeper. Only it seems to have died. Either that or the music glitch and I'm about to die. Okay, he died. Okay, let's simply go into the black market then. That was an easy, a very straightforward, very barren level. Jungle level. Very kind of disappointing, honestly. Okay, so we have to deal with the black market with only one rope. I guess we're going to have to use it at the very beginning because I don't feel confident going for the super fast method. And this is about the worst configuration. They could totally jump high enough to punch me in this position. Hopefully they won't do that. They will just go down instead instead of jumping around like crazy and try to reach my butt. And I guess I'll do this. To speed up the process a little bit. Please go away. You guys, come on. You need to take a Valium, maybe uh, drink down a gallon of, of uh, vermouth, and go to sleep. You are too hyperactive for your own good. Ah, this is not working. Ah! There you go. How about you go away now? Yes, go sleep with your with the angels now. Let's deal with the other shopkeeper. He must be dead by now, or possibly, yeah, in a very awful spot for me to deal with. We're going to do that. And then shoot! Oh, hopefully he went down by now, but he didn't. Holy crap, the shopkeepers in the top level today are being a huge pain in the ass. What a pain in my anus right now. Okay, we're going to have to spend another bomb to open up that area so I can deal with this idiot. Alright. And we have used up a ton of time. That's the hired help that ruined my my chances at a, at a quiet and professional black market here. Looks like all the shopkeepers went down except this guy that died. Uh, oh, nice. I should deal with the Ankh, but first I need all these bombs, yeah! I'm very unfortunate. No navigational items, not even the climbing gloves. <laughs> it's terrible. Uh, very disappointed about that. We're going to make do. I guess to this time I'm going to have uh, this freaking wow. That was really lucky, Donkey. I happened to to throw the bomb exactly at the spot where we, we hit the wooden platform there, and not the hard help corpse. Um, picked up a few ropes. So the hopes that I have for this run are slim, because the ice caves are going to be a huge challenge. And we have to leave. We have to leave right away. Must go! Yeah, the ice caves are going to be a great challenge. Luckily we had the compass to help us out a little bit. Here, rushing water. Oh, we have plenty of bombs, so I'm going to spend one to maybe get there. <gasps> wow! Oh man, oh man, I should have, I should have seen that coming. I just got lucky right now that I did not get ruined by the Tiki Trap. Okay, this was one of the most worthless bonds I spent in a while. And you know, by now I'm so used to having the climbing gloves that I am sort of trying to use them without actually using them. Is there spikes down there? There's no spikes. Oh, but first we have to deal with uh, that th threat right there. There. Threat neutralized! Let's toss. Kayla down there. Man. Yeah, I'm going to blow up this sticky trap. I think that's the absolute safest course of action. Freaking blue frogs. Oh, I hate you. Now the damn man trap. Uh, there. I didn't want to stand right next to the man trap. That would have made me so freaking uncomfortable. And you know, there was an idol earlier. Totally forgot. Totally forgot about that idol. I don't even remember. I think it was in the very first level and I missed it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's drop, my, uh, <laughs> let's drop Kayla right here. Go back for that shotgun. Although, I pr actually, I could absolutely thrown a bomb to his mug, but then he probably would have shot me in the face before dying. 
so I'm glad that I decided to be an abject coward here. And do things the easier, a more planned way. This guy's dead, but he had absolutely nothing of using his bomb, I mean his bomb, in mean his shop. Very, very disappointing. So, land a rope there. Actually, Matilda, I mean, not Matilda, this is Kayla. I am hang up on the love of my life, Matilda. That I actually saved. Oh no, I think I got her killed, didn't I? Oops. <laughs> We're going to do that and toss a bomb as well, just in case. But it didn't work. At least he died. That's the important part. At least I caused pain. So, and we have a shopkeeper at the very bottom of the level. Who should not, emphasis in should, cause problems before dying. We're going to get Kayla to the exit first. We're going to go these gems. Um, it's going to be a challenge, actually. It's going to be a pain in the ass, more more precisely. We're going to have to. Uh, I should have time to do everything, but I'm concerned I might not. So we're going to do this. Wow, that Tiki Trap! Ah, oh, man, I'm just going to do this instead because that Tiki Trap is in the worst position possible. Oh, I just fucked up. <laughs> I just fucked up. I just screwed up in one of the worst ways. Luckily, I saved with my last rope. And uh, going to the ice caves, no climbing gloves, no ropes. Uh, not a very uh, desirable <laughs> situation right now. Uh, I screwed up on that uh, uh, ghost dodge. I kind of panicked, honestly. At least we got the vault out of it. This seed, wow, it is a nightmare. It is terrible. Absolute worst. There. An idol. Um, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. And I actually might bomb my way down here. I don't want to go all the way back through there. Such a pain in the butt. Let's drop the shotgun, grab the idol, and drop it as well. Yep. It's so damn challenging when it, you don't realize how incredibly useful the navigational items are until you don't have any of them. Then you're like, wow, I am resourcelessness I am resources resourceless my resourcelessness is legendary uh, I guess I'm going to have to bomb that guy if I want to do everything right here although maybe I could toss an idol on his head yep but he'll pick pick up the boomerang again yeah he did so he's going to have to explode Choo! Oop, there. That worked! Man, this level is also a pain in the ass. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I feel like I should uh, do some reconnaissance around this area. And that guy is also in an awful position. That might be the one spot where I did not have to put the bomb. Ah, I meant to maybe make a... a... Shit! No, don't kill me, man! Don't kill me! I am a good guy! I'm a good guy! One of the good guys, you're one of the bad guys. No, actually, you're one of the good guys too, so... Yeah, we should not be enemies. I'm going to do this against my better judgment. Open up the area a little bit. Maybe I can get a shotgun blast through that gap. Man, if you don't die soon, the ghost is going to destroy me because I have no ropes. Uh oh. Please die, man. Please die. Okay, he's dead. But the ghost is right there. And I have no ropes. How the hell do I dodge the ghost here? I have to do this. 
Whoa! Well, see you later, idol. Got a diamond out of it. <laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. This is the worst. This is the worst seed there's been in months. And I am not even exaggerating. At least there were bombs in it. That's something, I guess. And now we have a wet fur level. Of course we do. But actually, this is, a, this is very good. I'm supposed to have an open ice case level because, you know, I'm not going to fall into the abyss, most likely. I, I, it's safe to shoot from here. Let me tell you, I'm so glad I kept the shotgun as opposed to the mana that one time. Because I probably will be dead by now. Because there's just no resources in this run at all. Okay, he's trapped. How the hell did he get trapped by that? How is he floating? That is weird. Money. Okay, we have a couple mines here. Ah, I almost triggered and that would have been bad. There. Okay, guys. Let's take it easy. Maybe I can use this... Uh, the alien ship to kill this guy? No. Weird! It doesn't blow up by shooting it. Well, at least that that happened. And... Pff, that might be super dangerous to have just hanging there. Mm, so let's not touch it. Okay, that actually, that shopkeeper is uh, in a very good spot to be shot at from a distance. So I'm going to do just that. He appears to be dead. Hopefully. Okay, let's pull this up. And how to get to that crate without ruining everything. I think that's the spot I need the bomb in. Yeah. You know what would be comical for me to fall into the abyss right here? It would be hilarious. Okay, we actually made it through this damn level. And now every level is an incredible challenge. It's kind of exciting to have no resources at all. It's a it's a new meta game as opposed to having the jetpack and oh let's ghost everything. I'm heading towards the abyss, so I need to make it back here. There's the first galley altar that we find. But I don't think I'm going to have the chance to sacrifice a single thing here. Well, actually, yeah, we can get this yeti into the sacrificial pit, and at the very least, increase our chances to get another Kali Altar. Yeah, there's no way I can get back up. So we have to plan our itinerary here. We have to plan it well. Oh, yeah, I can get back up with a shotgun. Whoa. And even triggering mines. Uh, this this one is actually safe. Because it will make navigation a bit easier, in fact. Even triggering mines is... Uh, it's something that you have to plan out, because... Uh-oh, that was bad. Why did it explode, I wonder? It must have dropped on something. Even triggering mines, it can screw you out of uh, way back up. It just had to be a freaking hard help. <laughs> this couldn't be a store full of goodies. No, it just had to be hired help. Well, we're going to leave. And I almost left at the wrong time. And the seed is just uh, fixated with not giving me health, not giving me anything. Hopefully this will be the Moai head level. And we can get uh, back to four health at least. Okay, let's plan our descent carefully. That bottom, that uh, area down there looks very safe to use to... Oh, that was bad. At least the Moai head is here, that is great. That's a great relief because I only have one point of health left. Let's drink that junk. I'm tempted to just kill myself right away because... Man, this is tough. But obviously that will serve no purpose because... You know, if I have insurance, might as well use it. I need to get Alfredo out of that spot. I have the shotgun so I can do this safely. Okay, there's a whole nice. This is a nice set of stuff of uh, platforms to get back up here. Wow. Okay. 
Ah, that's unfortunate. I was hoping for a vault something. Of course, uh, wow, okay, there's no way to make it on the other side without going uh, insane, trying to platform my way there. I would like to get Alfredo to the exit, but it might not be possible. Oh, there's a jumpy platform there. There's a bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Do my job. Oh, pff, I don't need it. I don't need it anymore. A bomb. Yes. Um, this position should be okay. Okay, don't don't kill yourself. Kill now. Oh, my bouncy platform. No. Well, I don't need to get back up, really, do I? Wow. This is terrible. <laughs> I think I can descend, though. the The problem was with ascending towards this area, but I think I'm pretty sure that I can make my way up. So let's try to do that. And I only need to go down, I don't need to go up, because now it's time to die. Wow. Well. Ah! Oh, damn it, I just wasted my parachute. I have no way to I have no way to get it back off. Get it off my back. So this is the short descent toward death. I can see death coming. I am prepared. Ugh. A terrible chill runs up my spine. I'm so freaking scared. All right, we made it so far. This is a crazy, crazy game. I'm actually having a lot of fun for all the all the ch the challenge that it represents and. It uh, kind of uh, relieves the pressure of having to ghost absolutely everything, and I don't know, it's, like I said before, a different dynamic. I didn't realize until now that I have three ropes. I might, must have picked up uh, a bunch of ropes at some point. I'd really like to get to that crate, but I don't see it happening. I mean, I could jump. I'm going to use a few bombs to make this safe. Make it safer. Even then, I don't think I can. Now what we're going to do is first get rid of that. And then that as well. Mmm. Damn it. <laughs> can I make it to that platform? That's the question here. I'm pretty sure this won't be full damage. Alright. All good. So good. Off with you assholes. A few extra bombs. That is nice. Major Stupid the Third is up there. I think I'm going to ignore him altogether. And concentrate on getting out of here alive. <laughs> and obviously the mothership is going to have to wait and not happen in this uh, in this run. I think that hit the mammoth. Yep. Excellent. Okay, I'm even. I don't even want know what to do honestly. Uh, oh man, that could have killed me so easily. That could have killed me so damn easily by throwing the idol back into my face. Oh, man. If you wonder what I'm doing, I'm trying to find a good way to get back to Kali's altar because her item, oh, her item should be climbing gloves. This alien is going to make me miserable, so he has to go. Anyway, I need to get to Kali's altar and get a few things sacrificed and she should give me the climbing gloves. So that's why I was wondering for so long, how can I get this done? <sighs> no means to get up there, nope. Yeah, there's nothing I can do, is there? Just get rid of the idol, there's no other yetis. Well, we got a little closer. I'm going to carry a rock, and I think I made it into the temple. So that's something. I mean, we're still progressing through the game. We're, we still have a chance to get to the damn city of gold. Mm. All right, Anubis is dealt with. Kablooey! At least we have a weapon now. Oh no! Darg! <laughs> Oh, I meant to pick up the corpse. I did not make sure that I had grabbed the corpse instead of the scepter. Wow, this daily challenge, that was insane. 
I cannot believe there was a person that made 2 million in this run. How do you even do that? I have no idea. I can absolutely believe 800,000, possibly 1 million. But he must have found a jetpack somewhere. I, I cannot believe that you can do that without a jetpack. Anyway, I mean, there might be a way and I'm just incompetent, but wow, that daily challenge, that was amazing. I am actually fond of it in a... In a masochistic uh, way. Well, we'll see what tomorrow brings. Until then, I bid you farewell.